What's going on, everybody? It's Alexis Marchand here from the Four Pillar Journey. Now, if you saw the title of the video, which you obviously did, I'm not really going to talk about what happened as far as story-wise, but rather the lessons that we can learn from what actually happened. I'm not going to give too many details, but in short, you know, I was walking with my uncle. We were in a place that was crowded, but not crowded enough where, you know, you're easily bumping into people like a bar. And as we're heading out of this location, there's this older gentleman walking this way, 40s, 50s. And I'm thinking he's going to move. Well, he doesn't, right? And we shoulder check pretty fucking hard to where I'm like, okay. And I turn around and look at him. He turns around and looks at me. And he goes, watch where you're walking, you fucking spick. Right? And here's the lesson. As a man, you have to have the emotional control to not let that situation get to your head. And if we really want to layer the lessons, the second lesson would be on his end to not say something stupid when you don't know the other person. Because I've talked about this before, but you never know who you're encountering and what situation they're in. Right? Somebody, especially a man, may be at his breaking point and you're the one that makes him tilt over the edge. Now, when it comes to disrespect and a man's honor, a man will go the full length if he feels like he's been very disrespected. Now, in my situation, the lesson for me was to have better emotional control. Yeah, there was some shit going on throughout the day that kind of already was pissing me off. But that was no excuse for me to do what I did. And the consequences of what I did could have been a lot worse, but I was lucky. Again, I just kind of blanked out and I hit him with a one piece and I immediately regretted it. I was like, fuck, this is not something that I would be doing, especially where I was at. Now, the man was startled. He, seeing like Mike Tyson said, you know, the internet has allowed people to be very disrespectful and thinking that there's no uh, consequences for their actions. In this case, he got what he deserved at the moment, or at least what I thought. But again, he goes and calls security like a little bitch. Security comes, asks me what happened, and then they ask me to step outside. Now I'm thinking, okay, you know, maybe they're just kicking me out. Cool, I'm cool with that. Literally 30 seconds later, cops come. Fuck. The last thing I want is to be talking to police. So long story short, I'm in the back of a police truck for two fucking hours. They're asking me what happened. They're asking that guy what happened. They're asking my uncle what happened. They're trying to figure it out. And I don't know if by the grace of God, I don't know what happened where they understood my side of the story and they took it. They they said, you know, what he said was very disrespectful. We understand why you acted that way. They looked at my criminal history. I'm clean, baby. We're clean on this side, right? Play it smart. He said, you know what? We're going to let you go with a very strong verbal warning. If this ever happens again, you're not going to get this chance. I'm like, understood, officer. Pleasure. I, like, you know, you play it off cool, but deep down inside, I was like, holy shit. Thank God. But played it off. <laughs> we got the fuck up out of it, right? But we're here to talk about the lessons. We, I just touched on them. But as a man, you cannot let certain things especially words to get to you you know i have a this thing that i follow which is if you're not messing with my time family or money then you're not a real problem to me 
because those are three things that I value and will not change values over. I will not mess with that whatsoever. But it was with me. And again, this is where I say my emotional control should have been better. I could have laughed it off and just walked away and I wouldn't have wasted two to three hours of my life. Or even worse, ended up locked up for assault just because some motherfucker called me a spick. No, it's not the end of the world. But at that moment, I felt like he had to stab me. And I was like, I'm not about to take this level of disrespect. And on his end, like I said, you do not know what you know, the NPCs around you are going through. We view them as NPCs, you know, which was like not even human almost. Until you start talking to them or when you disrespect them, you'll come to see who they really are. And like I said, you don't know what they're going through. You know, you pick with a guy, you know, he's going through a divorce, just lost his job. He has nothing to lose. That is a very dangerous person. If they have nothing to lose, what makes you think that they won't go out after you? And again, this is something that you can't know just based off a of random interaction, which is why you have to be very careful. Always treat people with respect, show love, and that will be reciprocated back to you, which is why I'm always talking about being nice to people. You know, just you don't know what opportunity may be there or you don't know what you just avoided by being nice to that person. He was at his breaking point, but you were nice to him. Now he's chill. Understand this as a man. Don't go out talking shit to random people. Don't go out looking for problems. And if you're on the receiving end, know how to control your emotions. Take a deep breath. You know, I'm making this advice and it's something that even I sometimes have to, you know, remind myself about because we're all human. We forget. But the important thing is to take self-accountability on your mistakes and remember the lessons that you already know and try to implement them at least once on a daily basis to keep the repetition alive. Because that is how us as humans instill certain things, which is why, you know, people say make your bed every morning. It's bigger than the actual bed. It's to build repetition, discipline, and that will apply into everything else in your life. Again, to recap and to end this video, understand your emotions. You are a man. Do not let small trivial things get to you or the consequences can be larger than you expected. And second of all, know how to treat people with respect as you don't know who you're talking to. That's it, guys. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.